We want to know how long each side of this triangle is. To do that, we need to figure out what this variable x is. We don't know what that is right away, but we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find out what that might be. So Pythagoras' theorem says the square of this side and this plus the square of this side equals the square of this side. So x squared plus quantity x plus 2 squared equals 14 squared. Well, from here we can tease this out, get a formula, and solve for x. We have x squared plus x squared, and then we have plus 4 from this term, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2x plus another 2x is 4x. So the cross term, we have two of these 2x's, equals 14 squared, which is 196. Uh, we can simplify this side a little bit. So we have x squared plus x squared is 2x squared plus 4x. And then we have uh, 4 plus 196. From here, we can subtract 196 from both sides. And then we get minus 192 equals 0. Great. From here, we need to solve for x using any method that we choose. Uh, what I think I want to do is divide both sides by 2, just to simplify it a little bit, and then we can use the quadratic formula. I think it would probably be the fastest way to do that. If we divide both sides by 2, we get x squared plus 2x minus half of 192 is 96. And then we need to use the quadratic formula from here. So the quadratic formula reads x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So from this step, we need to find what a, b, and c are. So a is just this first term, 1, b is the second term, 2, and c is the third term, negative 96. Great. Now we need to plug all these three, three of these terms in here, and then we can solve for x directly. x equals negative b, which is negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c. Now, a is 1, and c is negative 96, all over 2 times a, which is just 2, because a is 1. Now we need to simplify this a little bit more. x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus and minus. That gives us a plus. And then we have to have 96 times 4, 96 uh, times 4, which gives us uh, about 400 minus 4 times 4 is uh, 16. So 400 minus 16, which is 384. So we have 384 here, all over 2. We can finally simplify this a little bit more. x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 384 is 388 all over 2. And then we need to uh, simplify this a little bit more. While you can write this in a, a decimal form, what we want to do is probably divide both sides by 2 after we add and subtract these two numbers here. If we do that, we're going to get two values for x. Again, because of this plus or minus here, we're going to get two values for x. We need to use our calculator to find the exact value of this square root here, and then it'll give us some value out. So those values will give us two things. x1 is about 8.85, and x2 is about negative 10.85. Now what we need to do here is pause and think. We have two answers. Almost every time we use a quadratic, we're going to get two answers. However, we don't always have two answers in the real world. Here we say we want to know what the lengths of these two sides are. We have to figure out which of these x's makes sense. It, it might be possible that there could be two solutions to this. However, if we see that uh, x is negative here, we see x2 is negative 10.5, we know that a length can't be negative in this sense. It's just some standard magnitude of a length. So in fact, this term does not work for us. We don't have two answers for this case. We just have x is equal to 8.85, and that's what we get here. So we have this side is equal to 8.85. And this side is 8.85 plus 2, which is equal to 10.85. And that's our answer.